More drama with Planet Fitness, folks. Turns out Planet Fitness has a history of female locker room complaints. Was Planet Fitness trying to cover this up? So this story is just now trending. However, it actually hit the news back in September of 2023. The headline in the local news read, Man who exposed himself to a teen at a local gym. Arrest it. Before we get into this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help get that message out on what Planet Fitness is doing when it comes to the safety of their female customers. Okay, so some say this was a cover-up at the time, although I personally feel that saying that is just a tad extreme. However, it still had very little coverage. Where did the crime take place? Yeah, you guessed it, in the female locker room again. This takes us back to a recent video I did discussing the Planet Fitness policy on allowing men in the female locker room. If they identify as a female, it's good to go, which is just a gateway for predators, in my humble opinion, you know. So taking it a step further, the gym was aware of his contact and lewd behavior before the teen reported it. So what exactly happened? Well, according to the 15-year-old victim's aunt at the time, she had been standing near the showers in a locker room when he pulled back the curtain and stood in front of her naked. She was shocked and horrified, according to her aunt, Alexa uh, Dempsey-Peel, and she started to leave the room. Now, Dixon, the predator, called out to her and told her she could stay, and he continued to talk to her as she left the room. After further investigation, it turned out he was registered at Planet Fitness under a false name, which when his real name was discovered, it turned out he had a warrant for his arrest in another county for the same crime and had just been booked weeks earlier prior to this event as well. Now, he had also apparently exposed himself to a 19-year-old female at the same Planet Fitness on two separate occasions. Now, since this started trending online, People are starting to respond with things like people who care for women's safety and rights should cancel their memberships. Go woke, go broke. Kind of agree with this, folks. This is kind of getting out of hand. Uh, As I mentioned, uh, Planet Fitness was aware of his actions. The attorney for the family of the teen stated that per the initial investigation that Planet Fitness chose to ignore complaints of him exposing himself to females in the locker room because he identified as a female. So the That's the reasoning, folks. Because he identified as a female, he's allowed to commit a crime. Now, his LinkedIn profile lists him as a sensor operator in the U.S. Air Force. And the military court records show that he received a bad conduct discharge in 2019. The decision came after Dixon was convicted in a court martial of breaking into the dorm room of a female cadet and threatening her. The female cadet had a male partner in a room, which is against regulations, and Dixon used as a master key to enter her locked room while she and her male partner were sleeping. He left a note threatening to report her to the sergeant unless she sent the word yes to him in a group chat the next day to indicate that she was willing to cooperate with him. Not sure what exactly that means. You can, you know, take that a few different ways, but regardless, following his discharge, He was then sentenced to a year uh, in jail for the crime. Now, I want to go back to the uh, Planet Fitness non-discrimination policy. And I talked about my last video, but this is what they keep sending everyone back to when anyone seems to complain. Okay, so it states here, Planet Fitness does not tolerate discrimination or harassment of any person on its premises on the basis of race, national origin, ancestry, color, creed, religion, sex, sexual orientation, Gender, gender identity, age, disability, or any other basis protected by law. All members have access to the restroom and locker room facilities that correspond to their sincerely held self-reported gender identity to the extent permitted by applicable law. So what do you think, folks? The core issue here is that Planet Fitness was fully aware of the issue and yet chose to ignore it just because of the simple fact that he identified as a female. So committing crimes, okay if you identify as a female. To me, I feel like they've gone way past the line with this gender-related policy stuff. But that's my opinion. You know, with that, comment below with your thoughts on this. Do you think that they're out of line with this policy? Do you think that this is out of control? I mean, 
the boycott isn't getting any better for them. They're losing more money by the day. So I don't think it's working for them. But let me know what you think. And with that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you get an alert every time I upload another video. And with that, I'll see you next time.